process of audience perception is choreographed by how it's, how it's built and presented. So you have to plan for it from the very beginning and knowing how it's going to be put together in the end tells you how you put together the pieces because when you're doing any kind of set there, there's so much for, between that original sketch or the original sort of idea. Is it, is it strong enough to survive reality? Yeah, but the process of getting it to reality is so much fun and so much happens during that process, you know? But I guess the part of it that is really exciting for me is the storytelling part, specifically with the director who is desperate to tell this story. And it never ever started with the, phys the physicality of the space and it always started with sort of the intention of what what is it, what, what's going on here. And I love the research part of it. I mean, it's the, the tiny details and absorbing them. In 12 Years a Slave, and I remember these, these photographs that were, you have one image in your head of what cotton is, and then you see this photograph where it's actually airborne. And it's just, it's everywhere, and it's sticking to people. And this photograph was so vivid and told so much story that you just take that detail and say, and then that goes right, right into the, into the film. I just did All My Sons on Broadway. Jack O'Brien, the director, said, I want this to feel like, like bone, like skeleton, the lighting. Bone, skeleton, are those lighting words? No. So it's kind of more color and like sucking the life out of every character, kind of making it black and white. At the same time, there are trees, so the light was very, very dapply. And it really helped because it was light and shadow. In a funny way, symbolic, or you could even say a metaphor for what do we reveal, what's hidden. The lighting designer is sort of the ultimate cinematographer in the theater. The lighting designer really determines where you're going to look or if you're not going to be able to see. I, I would have completely agree with that. Or along with a little bit of being an editor, too, because yeah. we can also literally tell you where to look. You're, you can't look somewhere else because there's no light over there. Or we can snap from one place to another, which is what an edit does. Or we can crossfade, which is what an edit does, too. How much are you thinking about how it feels and works and helps the actors do their job? Is that part of a concept? I think there's no question that it affects their character. Annette Benning could find every bit of light and every shadow. She found it in a way that I could feel her performance changing as she was responding to where is the light, where is the shadow, I'm going to hide now because they're coming after me and now you know what I have something to say so I'm going to make sure that my face is illuminated. Lighting created an arc from the beginning to the end and I don't remember which way the light was coming from but I remember it felt like one long continuous arc. Is that true and is, it, that, is that where you started the narrative? You saw exactly what we were all trying to do. I say we because I can't just say I, yeah. as you know, without a director and a set designer and a costume designer. But there is, there's this great sense of possibility and there's this palpable energy, I think, that comes from a new cast yeah. that has come from a rehearsal room and has a story that's ready to be told. They come in and then all of the design and technical team is here and you can feel them all receive the history and the energy of the stories that have come before them. Mm -hmm. We believe fully that the space, and by space we mean the physical space and the people space, yeah. the people who are welcoming you and receiving you, are collaborators in the storytelling. It's kinesthetic, it's way beyond just your sense of sight. That's what makes theater going an experience, an event, and special. And it's also, I think, why theater is a have-to-be-in-the-room experience. Right. Right.